How's it going YouTube? This is Nick that tech guy and this is my full review on the T-Mobile Revel Plus. I'm going to start off with a couple of things. I first want to talk about the design. Several things on this phone stick out very nicely and that's the pink hues going across. I, you know, I've, I've used the phone for around three weeks now and every time I get that nice kind of shine across looking at the phone it's very nice it's a little different than most other phones especially when it goes around the ring on the back of the device it looks really nice um the one thing about the design I, I really dislike and that is the speaker placement this phone speaker is right over here so whenever watching any videos or anything off of youtube or listening to any music it just your, your hand just kind of washes it right out it doesn't, the playback isn't that great when it comes to listening to anything. Your hand covers it up right like away. Still loud, nice and loud, but the placement, especially when playing a game or something, it just goes right over. The button placement is completely fine, no, normal usage. I have uh, the Pixel launcher over the normal skin on the device. It runs nice and fast. <coughs> Headphone jack up at the top. The placement for the buttons are nice and clicky. You know, um, feels nice. So overall, the design I like. Uh, it's a little bit big. Reminds me a bit of the uh, Nexus 6, the way the phone looks. And that's not a bad thing. You know, the the back is more of a... It, it it feels nice, um, so that that's about it for the design. Display you know, itself uh, is is not bad. A little washed out and a little tingy. Um, I put this up next to the uh, ZTE Z Max, and the whites are a bit more yellowish than that phone. That phone has more of a white uh, calibrated display when it comes to looking at it. So this is much warmer. The performance than that display. The phone is is. Not bad, you know, uh, for a $225 phone, it runs nice and smooth. We're loading up applications. Um, one fault I do find, whenever closing applications, there's a bit of a latency going off of the application. So I'll uh, I'll be playing a game. So let me... I'm going to pull one right. Uh, I'll be playing a game on it, and whenever closing out the application, the phone seems to stutter just a bit. Uh, but not to be unexpected, the phone is $225. As you can see, the phone is now loading up. Just have to wait for the game to start. Load times aren't that bad. Let's see how long. Playing games and doing other graphically intensive things aren't that bad. The game, it, it runs smooth, the phone. But whenever, as you can see, closing out the application, you get a bit of a, a lag. The phone will freeze up time by time. And I also notice that having too many things open, especially when going into the camera application, the phone seems to lag a bit. Um, just a few things. That's what, you know, using the phone over the past few weeks, it just... Like, it just runs a bit slow. I also ran Geekbench on the Revel Plus, and the single core score was the same as the Nexus 5, and the multi core score was the exact, um, just in the middle ground of the Note 7 and the Z Mummy 5. The, the phone's performance isn't bad. These both scores right there. But this, of course, is different for everyone. You know, day to day usage with the device. It's this is running off of uh, T-Mobile's 4G LTE network, and you can see here I got 39 megabits up and 39 megabits down. Not bad for the price device, but most phones nowadays, you're getting these kind of speeds when it comes to being on a certain network. So now, using the camera was a mixed bag. One thing I noticed, out the box, the device was set 
dim. It was a weird thing. So you had to go to the settings to unset it. It, it, it has it. Uh, where are you? And brightness. It's, it's only for the camera. So coming into the camera, everything looks dark. Uh, but when you put it back to the higher brightness, it fixes that. Now, shooting with the thing, it, it's simple. You have photo, beauty mode, video, and portrait. Portrait shots, they look decent. You know, they're not iPhone or Note. You can see here by some of the pictures I took, the pictures are okay. They're a bit soft um, on the eyes. The colors are a bit soft. Um, daylight shots are okay. Took some portrait shots. Came out pretty good. Um, you know, I took a video without stabilization. The camera's a bit wonky. Got that kind of jello-like effect, you know. I took some nighttime shots I didn't really put in here, but needless to say, it's not that great, you know. Uh, nighttime, you're not really going to be shooting too much with the camera. It takes really dark shots. Hard to tell. Overall, I liked using this phone. Um, the, the stock launcher wasn't having too much uh, fun with using it. It was a bit more janky uh, when I put the Pixel launcher on. It makes moving around the phone a little bit easier. And then the phone is not bad. I mean, you can just see here that everything looks nice and looks nice and big. Playing games, other things. Look, it's, it's a nice phone. Uh, camera performance is good. A lot better than expected. Battery life is actually really good. I would end off the day with around 20% on the battery. Uh, and that's a full day of use. That's watching videos, playing games, sending out emails, text messages, doing all the things I would do with my normal phone. Um, overall, I, I give this phone a buy. I think it, it's a great device to have. I like the way the phone looks. Um, the, it may feel a bit older. Of course, not glass or anything. It has, has a nice kind of, I would say, like glittery look to the back. I think it is a really nice looking phone. Uh, especially with all the phones out there that are like glass and other things like that. This is just a little different. But different is not bad. I give the phone a buy. Especially, you know, you walk into a T-Mobile store. You have a slew of different devices to choose. This one sticks out. You know, it is a really nice and different looking phone. If you liked my video, hit the like button. Share the video. Much is appreciated. Um, I will be putting up more videos in the future. I'm going to try and see about different ways of uh, recording different content. Any suggestions, put it in my inbox. Uh, comment on the video. All right, this is Nick, that tech guy. Thanks for watching.